Okay, so what's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, another episode. This one's a little bit different. We've actually, well, I've actually got uh, a new car. Um, so it's going to be a new shop car for Osprey. We're going to do bits and bobs to it, obviously. Uh, I picked it up Saturday. Today is now Monday. Um, and yeah, we're going to do some bits to it in this episode. Um, so I think, yeah, there's not much to say. I'm freezing outside because it is currently like minus two. Um, you can see my breath. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to open the shutter, reveal to you what's inside, and uh, we'll, we'll get doing some mods. But yeah, okay, so this is the new car, obviously, pretty fresh. Um, I'll be honest, uh, handles crazy. Obviously, this car is 99.999% a BMW. Um, but to be honest, that's kind of why I bought it. Because we know BMWs, and we like BMWs. I'll put the bonnet. It's actually quite funny, to be fair. Even, even on the bonnet, you can see there is a lovely BMW badge right next to a lovely Toyota badge. So yeah, this car's pretty confused on what it wants to be, but obviously Gen 2, B58, can't go wrong. Two port as well. Um, we found out all the Supras in the UK are actually two port. There are no six ports, which is um, a little sad. Uh, what we're gonna do first, um, because I've never actually seen this done in the UK yet, is just throw a stock one on the dyno and see what it makes. This car is completely, completely bone stock, not a single mod on it. So we're going to throw it on the dyno, see what it makes. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to start hammering it with mods. Obviously, we're going to do charge pipes, intakes, tuning, downpipe. We're going to do a custom exhaust that me and Chris are going to make. Well, I say me and Chris. Chris is going to make. I'm going to watch him make it. Um, and, yeah, we'll do our, we're going to lower it, space it, do wheels and splitters, skirts, wing, blah, blah, blah. But that's all to come. For this, at the moment, we're gonna dyno it stock, add a downpipe, add a tune, dyno it again, see what it makes, do some numbers. I have gone out in this car already today and done a 100, 200. It wasn't the greatest, it was 11.5, I think, so I'll throw it up here. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best run in the world. Obviously, it's a bit damp outside. It's also like minus two degrees, so it wasn't exactly like hooking and booking. Um, but yeah, so let's just uh, throw on the dyno and see what she makes. I'm gonna guess 56.4 and 497 newton meters. What's the newton meters? 497. Yeah. For a bone, bone stock Supra. Yeah, lovely. That's all right to be fair, isn't it? Bang on the money, really. It's done pretty solid for all things considering it. Yeah, actually. While we're here, let's get a little sound check. How much, that how, much, how much fuel we got there? I don't know, let's, uh, might be enough for one more pull. Uh, save it for stage two. Okay. Yeah. Little sneak peek. Cheeky. <laughs> sneak peek, sneak <laughs> peek. No, what do you want to know? What do you think about Supers, Chris? Yeah, I like them. Obviously, it's a fake BMW. Yeah, a BMW with a Toyota badge. Yeah, BMW with oh, Toyota badge. these things are sick, man. They've they got road presence. That's a bit loud. But yeah, three, These things are sick. Uh, three, three fifty-five on the dyno, three fifty-six actually. So do do the Not people bad. know why you got this? No. 
So you didn't tell them why, what happened? What happened? I actually don't know what happened. <laughs> so these are a good choice. So it's between this and the new 240 or the 340, depending if you've got a family or if you're an ugly mug like Louis, then you only need two seats and two doors. Yeah, it's fact. Basically, what Chris is saying, I've got no shoes. No, um, no, what I'm saying is... So that seat is never used. It's only that seat, that's the only one that matters. If you're, if you're in a 140 and you're in your 20s, you guys know how the insurance is. Yeah. It's bullshit. Well, at least at the moment. So Louis, well, what Louis was paying on, I mean, on the 140, it was like nine grand for the year. Yeah. That's not realistic. No, nah, it's just so not So it's happening. better for him to jump into a newer car, safer car, more advanced car. Say what you want to say, it is a better car than a 140. No, oh, yeah, fact. And his insurance is what, less than two grand now? Yeah. So. So it's pretty gangster to be fair, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. But anyway, so I've had the car, what, two days now? Um. Two days, stage two. Yeah, so we're gonna stage two it, throw the downpipe on, see what he's saying. Oh, you wanna see some real speed? I'll show you some real speed. Uh, yeah, so we'll put it back on the dyno, and then what we can also do is um, maybe when it's on the dyno, we'll fiddle around with intake. Let's see if we can get some numbers, you know, with stock intake yeah, and yeah. aftermarket intake while it's on the dyno. So yeah. it's like same day, same atmosphere, yeah, same yeah. fuel. Let's just see. So we got some I'm some see. true true results. You show people the numbers. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. That's like bang on no, factory numbers. Eh? Nearly five hundred newtons. Five hundred newtons. Well. What it makes for well, that's what the factory says it makes. That's what Obviously, if you're in so America easy. or wherever you are in the world, who knows if it's brake horsepower, or wheel horsepower. Yeah. This dyno measures Humidity brake horsepower. And blah, blah, blah. And that's what it says it's making on a one to one gear. That was on a one to one gear. Yeah, so. I mean, everyone that knows this place knows them boys. They're pretty stingy. Um, there, there, they're a hard dyno, but you know, it's pretty, pretty solid numbers for a complete stock car, so That's we'll, uh, what it should be. we'll tune it up and 100%. We'll obviously we've got to unlock the ECU, tune it, fit the downpipe, and then yeah, see what it's doing. Maybe let's, play around with the intake. Let me quickly, let me get my laptop, we can yeah. unlock it. Right, while Tommy T's banging on with getting the downpipe out, um, Chris is out here about to do the unlocking. Yeah. So obviously, because this is a 2019 and 2020, it can be benched unlocked. Anything after, what is it, 07 2020? That has to go to Fento? Uh, depending, yeah, but normally, yes, July 2020 onwards. Yeah, so 21, 22s, and 23s. Whole ECU has to come out and be sent all the way to Finland. Um, whereas this is just on the cusp, so we can unlock it here. Um, so, yeah, if you've got a G Series and it's 2019 or 2020 before July, hit us up because we can unlock these right here. Um, and it doesn't take too long, does it, Chris? Uh, very quick. This um, the unlock tool we use is um, M-Link by this mission company out in the States. And um, super easy, man. You buy this, I think it's like... Man, I don't know the price. I don't want to know. But I, I'm a dealer for them, so obviously I don't get the same price as everybody else. But this is something you could do at home. You could buy it and unlock it yourself. Um, it literally just connects to your phone, unlocks the issue and you're done. I believe now MHD MHD also has their own unlocking tool, which is actually um, it's free if you buy the super license. You can unlock your car for free. Oh shit! Yeah, but they never have stock. Well, that's so probably why. Just this one's quite cool. This was out ages ago, so yeah. we've had this for ages. This is how we've been unlocking, and um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this company is going to do the, you know, the, the newer G-Series stuff too. This is how we're going to get into them. So this, um, so this is how easy it is. It's plugged into the DME. It comes with, it comes with the DME plugs. So you literally just unplug your DME. Obviously you undo your battery first. Then you yeah, yeah, yeah. connect the, your DME up and then you literally connect to the Wi-Fi. This obviously makes its own little Wi-Fi. Connect to the Wi-Fi there. And then yeah, now we can unlock it, yeah. So we can say unlock, start here, power supply sufficient, server connection, Wi-Fi connection, DME connecting. Here we go, activate DME license, unlock only. Check in DME connection. There we go, license authorized. And just like that, it's unlocked. Yeah, there we go. No, no. We're just going to do the unlock now. We just need to authorize it first. So basically, because I have to buy licenses, 
so it's one license per DME. Right, yeah. So that was applying the license now to your DME, and then yeah, unlock successful. Done. Easy. Pretty cool, huh? Just like that. Easy. that was literally like what, 30 seconds of takes, yeah. takes awesome. longer to set to take your battery off and unplug your ECU than it does unlocking it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Tommy T's dropping bolts in my engine bay. Oh dear. There's a place, time and place to do your downpipe is fresh off a dyno. <laughs> while yeah. it's roasting. Roasting, roasting hot. Yeah, bye. There you go. Yeah, the band's cool. loose. Yeah, sweet. So unlock, unlock, yeah, easy. Yeah, Simple unlock thing. Let's get uh, the flash the tune beep. on it. So let's get uh, image. What is the, is the beep from? No, beep just box? telling us it's yeah. It's just from that the actually, box telling okay. us it's disconnected. That's mad. Yeah, very cool, huh? Pretty good bit of kit to be fair. Yeah, man. I can't remember what it cost. I think it was a, I don't know, three fifty. But then you buy licenses and then it's paid itself back. So I mean, yeah. good good little tool to keep if you're a shop. And even if you're just a, an end user and you don't want to use uh, MHD or you can't get your MHD uh, unflash or just unlock it. But yeah, this will unlock it. You can use uh, Ikitech, you can use BM3, you can use MHD or MG Flash or whatever, whatever supports this platform. So it's, uh, at least it's done now. How are we doing yeah. there? My job's done. Come, come, come. come. Let's get Toyota dino, huh? with MHD on. Blessed. Did you oh. want MHD? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I am going to nick. I'm going to nick your engine cover. When you're not looking, I'm going to steal. The one you cut in half? Two, no, 240 G42 oh, engine cover. Yeah. That, one. that one looks good. No, I'll slap this one in there. He can upgrade to plus whenever, can't he? He's, he's the 2 plus doesn't lock. exist, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you mean MHD plus? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, MHD plus. yeah so we're actually waiting. This is the reason why Chris hasn't tuned his. It's because we're waiting for MHD plus. Uh, obviously, my um, car is newer than 2020. So yeah, so he has to send his to Femto. So I can do normal MHD, and then when MHD Plus comes out, just update it. Whereas if Chris does MHD now, when MHD Plus comes out, which is hopefully soon, uh, he then has to. Yeah. Someone made a joke. They said uh, coming out with GTA 6. Uh, <laughs> bro, we got GTA 6 before we got MHD Plus. Yeah. That's fair, um, obviously, if it then comes out, he has to resend his DM off back to Femto to get it all coded out or to get it all uh, tuned back on. Um, Not tune back on, they've got to unlock it. Un yeah, unlock it again, and then flash it and stuff. So it's just long. Whereas with this, because mine is 2020, I can just chuck it on and then when that's ready, update it. But all it means is uh, with normal MHD, I just don't have. Do I have rolling anti lag? I don't think so. No, right? I don't have no so just no anti lag, no map, no map switching. switching. So you can't have like FNL map and then. No, a 102 map and a yeah, 99 you have to map, stop it just and has load to be. The map on, like we used to do at MHD. Yeah. But what you can do, you get the G series ethanol content analyzer, and then you, uh, when you flash your tune, you can activate the, the MHD ECA, and then uh, basically you can see how much ethanol you've got on the fly. So you'll be able to do that. That's sick. That's pretty sick. So obviously, Tom's cracking on with a downpipe. Tom, you want to run us through roughly how to get a downpipe off for the people that may do this at home? If you don't know, you'll never know. If you don't know, get to know. Big up 2024. Yeah, obviously you want to undo, well, take your intake yeah. out. It just makes it a lot easier to get to everything. Well, you ain't getting to it otherwise, no. really, are you? Un unless you're elastic. Yeah. But um, undo your V-band. Obviously this holds on your exhaust to the back of your turbo, the turbo housing. Yeah, there's a big bolt that goes straight down there. So you undo that, comes out. Give it a little hammer. To loosen it. Yeah, right? loosen the V-band. Sometimes they can get stuck a little bit. So they hit the actual V-band on this corner here. Yeah. And it'll just shake loose. And then you can separate these two parts here to pull it back onto the turbo so it doesn't come with your downpipe. It yeah. doesn't matter if it do. You just remember to switch it on to your new downpipe. Yeah. Then, obviously. Obviously, sensors. Make sure you unplug them. You don't want to tear them. The O2 boys, yeah. When you twist them out, make sure you twist the hole cable you don't want to start yeah otherwise you might split certain cables or you could potentially pull your pins out of that end and yeah i mean they're, they. yeah they're expensive and sometimes not readily available so you don't want to render your car useless and then yeah apart from that there's a couple 13s at the back to yeah. support the downpipe i see if i can get in there and see all the, the way ones. at the back but i can move on all the way at the back right there two 13 nuts you got to get rid of and then obviously the um, 113 that holds the exhaust to the gearbox, the downpipe, the and then the other one that's the bracket for the gearbox. They're both 13s, right? 
Dep uh, might be a 15 for the exhaust. Right, well, yeah, when it's up, we'll have a look, but yeah. Obviously, all of that so far, and then when you go underneath, a 13 and a 15, and it should pretty much slide straight. Obviously, with a two port, it's going to be easier because there's less, less uh, or more space in the engine bay, but yeah. The mic's now on. It's Tom forgot. So obviously, uh, downpipes installed. Um, so we are now going to flash the car. First, got to disconnect the car from CarPlay because that's a very annoying thing that happens. Um, and obviously, go on the Wi-Fi. Find the old, uh, find the old MHD adapter. Definitely not Chris's hotspot. Don't know why that's there. MHD adapter. Don't look at my CarPlay link. Um, there you go, nice and connected. We're getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. There you go, sweet. So we're on that. We go MHD, F plus G. Tune, connect to Wi-Fi again. Oh, sorry, I'm still on it, yeah. Again. Stage two. Yeah, it can uh, go. Ninety-five up. No, no, one down. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. So it's always start lower, then you do a log after the log. If there's no timing corrections, then you can go up. Source okay, purple. Oh Jesus, here we go. So increase, remove, there we go. cold start noise reduction on, start up or on, OPF delete on. Verbal's hard. No. Maybe. Yep, there we yeah, there we go. Yeah. Verbal tune. Look what I Duration think. zero in sport, right? Or in, in base, duration base zero. Yeah, that's yeah, comfort. So that's and then comfort. sport, do like, what, eight point eight? Oh, don't kid, you're going to change when you get home. Two seconds hard. I'm driving through. <laughs> Shut up! Um, sport mode, TCU OPS limit or delete, yeah, OPS off. Uh, oh, that's another thing we need to do, XHP. Oh, yeah. Can sure. do that, uh, we'll do that tomorrow as well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, exhaust setup, aftermarket downpipes. Yeah, his gearbox is going to slip. So, yeah, that's pretty much all set, isn't it? Yeah, you see, I told you, not many options on G, Dead. that's it. Image well, I've got 5% on my phone, do you reckon it's smart to long write this? The recovery mode, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, put your seatbelt on, car don't go to sleep. Danny chill. I'm actually sick on this camera, bro. No, you're not. I'm watching it move bare slow, man. It's yeah. <laughs> no, pan up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Is it inverted controls like Chris was saying last time? No. One min left. I sold you the uh, N55 super license. So you're, you're actually such a neek. You know that. <laughs> you're actually such a neek. What's a neek? Do you not know what neek means? I thought that was your nickname because I keep hearing the guy shout it to you. No, okay. so like, so like when someone's chat, when someone's chat. You guys, shut up, you fat neek. That's what you said. Cholesterol. Uh, Mike Larry's here as well. Hey, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. Don't let that cholesterol get you, bro. Uh, yeah. What's he saying? You doing it now? Yeah, five seconds left. Yeah, boy. Lou's got stage two super in now. Take the, take the, um, drag it home. See what you can drag it. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> coding. Uh, your extra weight power. Coding the dimmer. Trust me. Hmm? Coding the dimmer. Mike's an easy half a second. Success. Right. It should be now, you should be uh, mid to high eights. Yeah, boy. Done. Look, Lou. Oh, you come off of it. Yeah, bro, it just says what? success, man. We've seen yeah. that a million times. It's a success. Yeah, but it's nice to see it on the video. If we've seen it on the video. The people before. wanted it, though. Right. Tuning's people done. Wanted, um, the people wanted it. Tune, right. Guys, 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 I'm trying to speak, man. The car, man. The, the, Loaded and all right. Album, man. So. <laughs> This is Chris's, Chris's phone time call. He's gonna get the ruler out. Um, we've just put the uh, put the map on the car, off the shelf map from MHD. Uh, it's just finished tuning. Um, it was about a one minute fifty second right time. Which for a um, fresh right is fresh. Literally just unlocked DME straight right. One minute fifty seconds. We did. What do we do? Cold start off, obviously. Um, OPF delete. OPF delete. Yeah, and uh, cold uh, cold start. OPF start up raw. Exhaust valves always open in sport mode. To be honest, MHD at the moment for G-Series isn't the greatest. Like, it's a little bit raw. Um, 
But once MHD Plus comes out, like I said earlier, then we'll get all the good stuff. Um, but at least it gives you the speed, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so we're going to start up now, see what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's loud. It's installed. So Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Right, next day, Chrissy G. Oh, sick. My bad. Next day, we're back. Day two. Um, yeah, so, back on the dyno. Uh, Louis obviously took a car home last night. He went and played silly buggers on the road. Yeah, boy. Uh, he's done his 100 to 200. I think you got a 7.6. Yeah, seven six. But you did log it and there was no uh, timing correction. So no, you moved up sweet. to the 95 run map. Yeah. So we'll log it now on the dyno just to make sure it's happy and then see what the numbers are and then send you out for another 100 to 200. Yeah, boy. Um, so this is also this is without XHP as well. Uh, this we'll is do XHP. Just. We'll do XHP before you go out and do your 100 to 200. Not the fighting map. Just yeah. shows you the time. I have to go again. Hey man, I oh, this little cheeky bastard. Yeah. So let's go to yeah, final run was that one over there. Uh, oh, let's change, let's go to the stock super on this one. Looks a bit there. There it is. Zoop, zoop four. Yeah, but to get this should be two here. Uh, this yesterday's run. First one, isn't it? I think it was the first one we did yesterday. Yeah. We went straight on and she was Yeah, there. it was one and done. Let's put it against those two. Ooh. Jeez. See, so th this here is the dyno. This is the dyno issue. Yeah. So on a stock turbo, the torque comes in so quick, so the dyno quickly grabs it. Over here, I mean, it's only 500 RPM, so we should negate pretty much all of that. Right. So we can look from here, 3,500 when we're at 100% throttle. So there's our difference there, 50 horsepower in the beginning and about 100 newton meters in the beginning and then at the end of the rpm range what's that about 470 there yeah somewhere 470 yeah and about down that. here i mean you're at what is that 350. so it runs out of puff pretty quickly well no no it's not that it's puff it's nothing to do with hardware this is software so timing and boost is much lower on the dotted line so the dotted line is round one before tuning stock and then the solid lines are after tuning so you can see at the end of the RPM range, this is where we're racing. We're racing at 4,000 to 7,000 in each gear. Yeah. And that's where you can see the gains. This delta over here is what's important. So that's why we, when we talk, don't look at the, the dyno figures. F*** the dyno figures. We don't care about dyno figures. We care about the delta gain. So the delta gain is the difference between what you had and what you've done, what you've changed. What, what is, that's what's happened here for Louis. So his best delta gain was in about this area over here in horsepower, which is... Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. That is dog shit. 350. And over here is at uh, 470. Just over 470. So it shows. Yeah, it's pretty solid to be fair. We've gone from... 120, 120 horsepower. 356 horsepower 
uh, 474. Okay, so yeah, 480 brake. That's on. That's on 93 octane as well. That's not 99. Well, no, it's on 95 octane in the UK, 93 in the USA. So it would be 99 in the no, UK. I don't get it to you. I don't get it to no? that conversation. Okay. What those uh, numbers mean anymore? Okay, so here in the UK, this this was done off of 95 octane map, not a 99 octane map. Um, it is on 99 fuel, but it's just not quite up to scratch and it's pulling timing. So we dropped it down to 95. Um, and yeah, 480 brake, um, literally just map and downpipe. That is it. Chris, how much is downpipe? 350? Sorry? How much is downpipe? 350? Yeah. And tune in or well, MHD super license for oh, yeah. so now you can pretty much say so for how much after so for f over 450 horsepower on a gen 2, yeah, it would just be down by and softly, really. That's Which what is done, what yeah. 700 quid, 800 quid, well, 435 and 350, 700, yeah, 795, 795 plus your fitting, yeah, so call it 800, 845, 50 for fitting downpipe, man, yeah, yeah, so for 845. Five pound, you can have over 450 brake. 835, uh, man. 835. For 835, you can have 450 brake plus in a Gen 2, which I think is pretty solid. That's good, though. That's, that's yeah, the numbers. graph's nice. It's, it's clean. We did the logs. Um, I will try and get some better quality fuel, do some logs, see if it's better, put it back up to 99 octane. Uh, maybe we'll see if it runs a difference and stuff, but I'll do a couple 100, 200s, see what it's like. Um, see if I can get any good times. We'll throw XHP on it now um, and then, yeah, see if we can get anything better. But I think that's a pretty solid uh, pretty solid increase from stock. That's what, 138 brake increase or somewhere around that mark? Why is your math so bad, man? I don't know. You must go get your school fees back. I didn't get any school fees. Public school, babe. Which shows. <laughs> so I, I thought you went private. No, bro. Uh, public all day. <laughs> all boys school. Right? Um, yeah, all boys public school, bro. Shout oh, out boys high. Hey, don't assume he's gentle. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get into that conversation, pal. Okay, so Project Supra. Next day. We did the 100, 200, didn't we, Chris? 7.6. 7. Um, so now, Chris is going to flash XHP on the car. Um, which is a, a gearbox map basically. Um, we're gonna go straight to stage three XHB because I'll be honest, one and two are a bit pointless. Um, then we're gonna go out again and see if the times improve at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, what am I trying to do again? Connect new car, eight speed, finding adapter. Man, I turned this thing on. Remember, you flashed for two litre pro, yeah? Excuse me? Flash for Supra 2 litre Pro. 2 litre, yeah, show the people what it's got. 2 litre power. Yeah, serious power out of this little boy. Got an engine light already. Yeah, you know. it Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to unlock. So it's asking us to unlock this. Yeah, unlock. Yeah. Unlock success. Bosh. Success. It's just unlocked. Now we've got to, now we've got to load it. Yeah. Okay. So you have to, what, unlock? Preparing download. So you didn't unlock the ECU. The ECU was already unlocked, though. No? no, no. It's a totally different thing. So gearbox so you have to unlock TCU, the gearbox. which is transmission control unit. And then you have an ECU, which is engine control unit. So ECU and DME is the same thing. So if we say ECU or DME, we're talking about the engine control unit. If we say TCU, then we're talking about the transmission or gearbox. And the uh, gearbox doesn't have the same thing as the ECU where you have no, to No, no, they're not linked. Unlock. They don't talk to each other. It's two separate entities in the vehicle. The only thing is that the, the TCU needs to know the engine speed and the engine speed needs to know the load on the gearbox. That's it. And that's the only, that's about as much as they talk to each other. They just tell each other temperatures and, and speeds, and that's about it. But they, one can operate independently from the other. So if we took this engine out and this DME out, we could put another engine and DME in and get the TCU and DME to talk, and the car would be fine. 
So as long as they talk together, they're fine. That's it. They just need to talk. It's two separate things. The only when you when you talk about unlocking things, it's the DME, which is which is a Bosch thing. The TCU is a ZF thing. So it's not the yeah, sure. different companies. Interesting. Unlocked. Uh, flash this car. You want to go stage three straight away? Yeah. Boy. And then we'll do some custom settings as well. Yeah. Do you want to show in the custom settings or is that? No, we'll just keep that to ourselves. That's private Osprey information. It's time for some quick shifts. Yeah, okay. Right, what are you saying? You're saying 7.3? Nah, I think I'll go quicker. I think really? it'll be 7 to 7.1. 7 to 7.1. Tom? 100 to 200. 100 to 200 XHP. 7.6, no XHP. Stage 2 engine, stage 2 gearbox. Uh, Remember, it'll be quicker than a 140. I don't know what a 140 done anyway, to be fair. 7.2 well, on a stage 2 plus. Oh, 7.2. 7.2, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 7.3, 7.3. 
Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try it again on the weekend, see if it gets a little bit warmer. Um, or do an even fatter burnout and see if I can get the tyres even stickier. But, yeah. Okay, so I did actually get a better time. Please ignore me. I'm in bed on a Sunday editing this. Um, I did go out. I did do a better time. I got 7.08. I'll throw it up right here. Um, yeah, pretty solid time. I figured out the traction mode in the Supra is, is similar to an MDM mode in the M cars, uh, where it actually allows the slip. Whereas I thought traction, obviously, in the 140 was just like, that's like your snow mode or whatever, rain mode. Um, from where I was doing it normal, just in sport, I was shifting into fifth. Um, and that's when the torque was coming in uh, and it was like lunging me forward, slowing me down and then slowly picking back up. So obviously I was losing quite a lot of time. Um, so yeah, MDM mode or traction mode sorted out, um, just went straight through. Like it would do a little spin, but it would keep plowing and it would just push through it. Um, so yeah, 708, pretty solid. Um, and we'll go back to the video. But as for that, that'll, uh, that'll call this A90 Super episode it. Uh, overall, if anyone's interested, I'm very happy with the car. If you have a 140i, sell it and buy a Supra, because um, it's a good decision. Maybe not financially, but mentally, I'm happy. Um, but yeah, sweet. All right, well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate the support. Um, pretty sure next week will be a race car vid. Um, week after that, probably gonna do some more stuff to this, because um, yeah, we're loving this at the moment proper good little motor but yeah take it easy guys we'll uh catch you in a bit like share subscribe comment see you guys in a bit bye